here it is this is my electric cargo bike I built this bike about six years ago um, I originally built it when I was doing appliance repair work in the city all my service calls were concentrated in one area and uh, driving sucks uh, parking uh, trying to get close to the condo buildings I was servicing was a huge pain so I was looking for a new solution and um, this is something that I've always wanted to build and I finally got around to building it and um, yeah it really changed my life it changed my business um, it really changed how I do everything I basically got rid of my truck at the time and uh, yeah transitioned my entire work onto this bike I was lucky enough to have a pretty small work area and a distributor that was able to uh, sell me the parts I needed really close to town. So this was my kind of main work platform and it served me um, wonderfully for those uh, years. Uh, I'm gonna give a little bit of a rundown of the system itself. I built this bike. I welded it up together. Uh, it started out as a Nishiki mountain bike. It's a steel frame mountain bike and I basically welded the rest on. Um, yeah, it's not the prettiest weld work. Um, but it was kind of a proof of concept, but boy, it's it's held up. Uh, six years, I have cracked the frame and welded it back together. Um, one important thing is a super heavy duty kickstand. This kickstand actually locks um, like a parking brake, which is super handy for when you're dealing with heavy loads or on a hill. Um, and yeah, it's a fairly simple frame. I strengthened it. I added bigger dropouts in the back. Uh, this was of course a few years ago when it was a lot harder to get your hands on cargo bikes. They were super expensive and uh, just kind of hard to find. Um, so I built this one myself. Um, there's some great YouTube videos online. Phil Vandelay has a great series on building his own electric cargo bike. I'd put you guys in that direction. If you're interested in building your own, now of course you can buy uh, cargo bikes and electrify them. They're a lot more common. Uh, I've got a simple steer arm down here. Um, it's got an adjustable reach so you can set kind of how far uh, you turn the front fork when you turn the uh, steer tube. I just goes through an arm here. There's that little locking latch for the kickstand. It's quite rusted under there. This thing's been through a lot in the last five years. Winters. Um, oh man. So just a simple steer arm. It uh, goes to a simple bolt here. That's basically it. Um, this is just a front fork that I actually ended up making because the one, the ones I was experimenting with just wouldn't really quite fit um, right. And I ended up having, well, I mean, I wanted to put on disc brakes, so I would have had to rebuild a fork anyway. So I just built that fork and it's actually worked quite well. Um, there's kind of like a loop here for holding straps or for holding on to for passengers. That uh, works pretty good for locking as well. Um, that's about it as far as the frame itself goes. Uh, of course, this is a 26, uh, 26 inch wheel in the back and a 20 inch direct drive motor in the front. I'll go over the braking system. It's got a, a Shimano Z hydraulic rear brake. It's like a 200 millimeter rotor. Uh, the front is BB7 cable disc. That's worked pretty well for me so far. Uh, really easy to adjust. Um, and then of course, it's a direct drive motor, so it's actually got regenerative braking, which is super nice for a cargo bike. I'd absolutely recommend if anyone wants to get a cargo bike, um, an electric cargo bike, to get something that has a regen brake if you plan on carrying heavy loads. It'll save your brake pads and it'll just make it a lot more capable for towing uh, when I first built the bike, I had a geared motor and I didn't have regen braking and I was going through brake pads like every four or five weeks because I was doing like 40, 50 kilometers a day on this thing back when I was doing service work. So yeah, regen brake, huge plus. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, as far as the electronics go, this bike has a Grin Technologies Cycle Analyst Classic ebikes.ca is where I'd recommend you guys get all your DIY parts from. Um, it's got a throttle, it's got a pedal sensor as well, depending on what area you live in. You gotta 
uh, you know, keep in mind that you got to keep things legal. This setup is capable of 1500 watts. Now, I'm not saying that's what I run it at. I'm saying that that's what it's capable of doing. On bike paths, of course, you have to adhere to speed limits, 30 kilometers per hour. You don't want to be that e-biker ripping past people, speeding. When it comes to the roads, I go as fast as I can. It's safer to keep up with traffic. Cars give you more space. Uh, it's unfortunate that legislation hasn't caught up with the reality yet, but that's the way it is. I've never had trouble from the police. I find if you operate in a respectful manner for the most part, um, it's been all right for me. The electronics live in here. There's a 52 volt battery that lives inside here alongside a cycle satiator from Grin Technologies. It's a little battery charger that I just comes through this cord here. When I get home, I just plug it in to the wall. It's that easy. This is a big battery too. It's like a 23 amp hour battery. So it lasts a long time. I can usually go a few days without having to charge it. Um, but if I'm carrying uh, heavy loads or going far, then I make sure it's charged. I got a speed controller here. This is just a simple like Infineon style controller. I think I got this from EM3 EV like years ago. It's a 40 amp controller. It's been doing me very well. Like I said, I don't often run it um, at very high power. So that's been doing just fine. And then I've got a 12 volt system in here, just a little DC DC converter, 12 volt drops down to some cigarette uh, plugs, USB, I can charge my phones and accessories, all that kind of stuff. And I actually power these LEDs, I can't really see them right now, but there's a row of LEDs around the right and left sides, front and back, that's critical. Lighting is huge, you gotta make sure that you're well lit up, because otherwise cars will kill you, unfortunately. Um, yeah, got a nice row of LEDs on the back here. These are just five millimeter LEDs, but man, they really work great at night. Um, before I put lights on, I was having close calls with cars. And ever since I put the lights on, I must say it's made a huge difference for safety. I've also got a front headlight that's pretty, pretty good. This thing's probably about five watts or something like that. It's just a cheap one I got off the internet and I kind of 3D printed like a little sh um, shade for it to keep the light out of um, fellow bike riders eyes uh, I wasn't sure if the shade would work but it really does uh, it kind of cuts the top of it off pretty well um, and these lights are cheap you can get them for like 10 bucks or 20 bucks online and they work they work for various voltages just a DC DC module in there and uh, yeah that's kind of about it as far as the technical side of this thing goes like I said I've had this thing for like six years I've done like over 35,000 kilometers on it um, I'm not sure exactly how much because for a while my odometer wasn't recording due to a bug but um, yeah it's been at least like 35,000 K uh, it's been awesome I usually go through about one front wheel a year usually depending on how much I'm riding I go with the Schwabby crazy bobs they're pretty affordable and they're a super high quality tire. Um, they're great. I would definitely recommend the Crazy Bobs. And you can get them in 20 inch, 26 inch. I think there's a few other sizes you can even get them in. So definitely recommend them. You want to make sure you have heavy duty rims for sure. Um, this is a built back wheel with a nice quality hub. So that's been working out really well. And uh, yeah. It carries a lot of weight, as you can see. I do a lot of crazy stuff with this bike. Like, I carry like an obscene amount of stuff. And uh, yeah, it's never let me down. Um, so yeah, I totally would recommend, if anyone's thinking about getting an electric bike, definitely do it. It's changed my life, it's been awesome. And yeah, I definitely recommend that you take the plunge. All right guys, thanks for watching. See you later.